Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome as always. Valentine's Day is approaching and today I'll be showing you guys how I do my Valentine's Day decor and I'll be doing three different things. I'll be doing the kitchen countertop with all of these cute treats and the dining room table as well as my wine rack and I'll be following a pink and red sort of theme. Um, and I have actually made some Valentine's Day cookies. They're heart-shaped cookies and they're very simple to make and I, as you can see, I just followed a simple recipe from a cookbook and I'll be showing you guys through the whole entire process. So at this point, I've already mixed all the ingredients together and now we're going to be rolling out the dough. So I just cut it in half so that I can work with a more manageable piece and I put a lot of flour on the cutting board and a little bit more flour on the rolling pin as well as on top of the cookies and this just prevents it from sticking so that you can roll it out easier and the stickier your dough is the more flour you want to use and I just basically rolled it out to about one fourth dimension um, the thickness because you don't want to make sure that it's too thin and you don't want it to be too thick as well Now I'm going in with my heart shaped cookie cutter and I just dipped it lightly in flour and I'm going to go and cut as many hearts as I can out of this first batch or roll of dough and after you know cutting out all the pieces and I put it on the pan I just take the excess dough roll it into a ball and re-roll it out again and do the same thing and just make sure there's no waste. So to be honest, the first batch of cookies that I placed on the pan were actually a bit thinner than I wanted it to be, but you know, you learn from your mistakes and so the second time around, I made sure that I cut them a bit thicker. And when you're placing it on the pan, I just made sure there's an even amount of distance between them so that when they do spread, they don't spread into each other. So now they've came out the oven and I just let them cool off for a bit and now I'm icing on the decorations. I didn't do this to every single cookie but I just wanted to show you guys the different types of designs that you could do if you wanted to ice your cookies and I used red and white icing and to make my pink frosting that you'll see later on I just mixed the two and you know I just outlined the cookie in white and I did another one also in red frosting as well and on one of my cookies or or I think I did two, I just filled in the center with the pink frosting. So what you guys see in these little clear trays are actually all of the snacks at the little snack bar and on the top row there are blueberry muffins and the cookies are in the center and the bottom just has pretzel balls that are filled with cheese. I just thought it would be nice to have an even balance of sweet and savory. So now we're done um, on the left side of my kitchen and I'll be showing you guys a quick little tour. So I have in this heart shaped bowl Kit Kat and some other chocolates. And right next to that I have a golden heart tray that's filled with raspberries, blackberries and grapes. And right next to that, I have this cute pink gumball machine that doesn't really work, but I just filled it with red chocolates. And then next to that, I have some pink, red, and purple straws just to bring even more color and to make it more festive for the holiday. And lastly, I have these chocolate-covered strawberries, the milk chocolate ones covered in straw um, sprinkles, and then I have also white chocolate. And lastly, the cookies and the cookbook.
just wanted to show you guys a different way that I decorated. I just basically rearranged all the items that I had before. The only new things that I added were these cups that I stacked in the middle. These cute mugs that have different colors and different sayings and I tried my best to arrange them and form some sort of sentence and it starts off by saying wake up and be awesome, best person ever, let the adventure begin, enjoy the journey, it's official, you're awesome, and love ya, mean it. And you know, it's just a lot of positive sayings that I just thought was really cute. So now I'm moving on to the right side of the kitchen and over here I just wanted to make sure that I just kept the side simple and plain so you first see just this marble container and I just filled it up with my spatulas and right next to that I have pink salt just for some color and right next to that I have red and pink baking bowls and a rolling pin and lastly some flour i have regular flour and oat flour and i just wanted this side to just be more baking items since i was making cookies Okay, so now moving on to the table decor, I wanted to keep this simple as well. So I first laid out this holographic, very light pink tablecloth. And next I did the plates and the plate mats and all that kind of stuff. And I just kind of kept a rose gold theme with like the napkins and stuff like that. And the utensils were gold. And I get that pop of color from the red flower that are on each of the plates and the centerpiece. I wanted to keep this simple as well. So I just put a huge gold vase with these red roses and I on this chalkboard that's shaped like a heart I wrote with chalk happy valentine's day and on either sides just put something very simple And lastly, I have this cute little love sign that I just hung up on the wall and later on I put next to my wine rack as well and it's just made out of wood and it just says love on it and I just thought it was a cute touch. So now doing my wine rack decorations, on the bottom I just have this gold carpet and for the bottom part I just have this black crate and it is just filled with two wine glasses that have gold and diamond decorations. Then filled the space with gold leaves and candles and I stuffed two bears, one of them is holding a red blanket just for that pop of color and there are plants on both sides and for the top I just wanted to keep this even more simple and just have roses right in the center on a gold tray and candles and gold leaves again to fill up any blank spots. last but not least I just wanted to do something special to close out this video and so I'll be making a very cute Valentine's Day inspired drink a cafe latte and all I used for this was just coffee hot milk and a French press machine cocoa powder and a heart shaped stencil or cookie cutter and it's really really simple all I did was first boil the milk until it's very hot and I just set that aside and you know sometimes you might need a strainer if the milk does set but first thing you do is just pour the coffee the desired amount I just had a very little amount and then I poured the hot milk into my French press machine and just foamed it up until it was just super super foamy like 90% foamy and then I just poured that on top of the coffee and then I took my heart shaped cookie cutter placed it as close as I can to the foam and just dusted the cocoa powder until it formed the shape of the heart and it's just as simple as that it's very festive and very cute That is the end to this Valentine's Day inspired video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. This was very short and easy and quick simple to make and I hope you recreate at least one thing that you saw in this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and comment, share and like. That helps me a lot and I love seeing your feedback so please make sure to comment. Happy Valentine's Day. See you next time. Ciao!